Okay, all that is left for us to do with this solar system now is to select it and position it over the projector to make it look like it is being projected out in a holographic, beautiful way. So, I'm going to close the outliner for the time being. I'm then going to bring back my um, layers thingy. Now, at this stage, make sure your solar system is already selected because when we bring back the room, the, the solar system is just going to be kind of right in the middle of everything and it'll be difficult to select. So, make sure it's already selected. Click here, which is where the V will go to bring back the room in the projector. I'm going to switch to my move tool and I'm just going to pull that solar system up out of the floor. And what I also need to do is just scale it down because I want it to be kind of believable that from the um, cone of light that's going to be projected by this projector um, that they're kind of creating these planets. So they need to be small enough to kind of believably fit within that. So in my case, I've just sort of gone for that kind of size. So they are very small, um, but if you get a nice close up to this one when you render it, it'll look mwah, beautiful. Okay, so that for the time being is the modeling done. What we're gonna do next is move on to creating textures and shaders and really starting to make this room look like a badass sexy mofo. Oh yeah. Now would also be a very good time to save your work. If you've been following what I've been doing properly, you will have incremental saves turned on and you can check in your save folder of your project to check that. But it's still always a good idea to save the project yourself just in case. So you should do that.